Hello, this is Haka Devine, and today we are going to be going to the subreddit r slash not like other girls. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. When the feminine urge to quit your job and stay home and raise lots of babies hits you. <sighs> Just put all women in a box, I guess. To all the women feeling in this makes sure. Or to teach her daughters there's no job career more or important than raising children or in being a mother. What? Other than anything that makes you happy, right? So we all, so we just all collectively feeling this, huh? No. Thank you, fellow feminists. They ruined it for us. Oh my goodness. Nobody's telling you to be a boss babe. Home birth, home school, home make. Home is where it's at. Feminism has gone full, so, full, full circle. Welcome home, ladies. Ugh. I love how the boss babe era has kind of died down and hope making era is hugely popular now. As it should. I don't think that boss babe has died down at all. But, whatever. You feel this because you're designed to be better and embrace it from in No. No. Stop this. Nobody is designed to be anything. You can be anything you want to be. You can be a mother if you want to, but you don't have to be. To all the women and feeling this, stay away from the feminists. Why? They'll make you better and resentful in your relationship. Good luck and Godspeed. Oh my god. <sighs> Guess what? Feminism is about wanting in, in everyone to be allowed to do what they want, including in, in Treadwife stuff. I want to do so in a lesbian way. The only time I care about T Swift was in high school. I hate the feeling of fake eyelashes. I'd rather go on a trip than buy the latest gadget. I'd much rather hang out and sweat with my mom and friends than go out on an acute dress partying. Okay then. Do that. In a world full of Kardashians, be a creepy chick. Okay. Oh my goodness, no. Caution. I'm not like, like other girls. <laughs> and just so you know, even the bad chicks ain't got shit on me. Okay. We care about you and your memories on Facebook. Here's one from 12 years ago. Typical girl. Oh, gee, Harry Styles, I love you. You marry me and have my babies, Harry. Me, I'm hungry. Are you implying that most women don't get hungry? While every other American woman is excited for coming to space, I'm over here like, yes, football is here. I'm gonna admit that I do like pumpkin spice more than football. Probably because I can understand the 
and the yummy taste over complicated sports that I have no interest in. So you're just... Oh, let me ask you it. I'm spoiled in high maintenance. I don't believe in 50-50. If man can't provide for everything, then he's not the one. Cooking and cleaning is a maid's job, not a woman's. Cooking and cleaning is a whoever the heck wants to eat or be in a clean space's job. Cooking and cleaning isn't about gender or job. It's about surviving and eating. I was definitely born different. Women get baby fever and I just want to smoke and watch Netflix. A lot of people just want to watch Netflix, you know? Other girls and they have the cute outfit and me with the outfit that has like holes in it and is, is falling apart. Stop trying to be and I'm not like other girls I was a girl and get new underwear. It's shaking my head. Agreed. <laughs> Good luck finding a girl like me. Girls like her. Loving this. Um, ordinary people just vacuuming normally. Creative people, pretending like they're fighting a monster with a vacuum cleaner, I guess. You don't know that most people aren't doing this when they're vacuuming normally. But, of course, you want to assume that way to give yourself an ego boost. <laughs> hey everybody, this girl over here has a lot of guy friends. See, nobody cares. <laughs> Hi, I am a stereotypical annoying girl who's going to ask you if you like one of these two standard things from pop culture. Thank you! I shall now respond snarkily by saying I like something else from pop culture that's just as popular but with a different demographic and somehow that makes me better than you. Literally most of this subreddit. <sighs> Believe it or not, you're not better than someone just because you like something different. I'm looking at you, K-pop stands. You're not better than, than others just because I like anime. So I just heard a really annoying story today. I am not a perfect Instagram and bimbo. I never plan to be. Just seeing my, my own thing, always. Isn't that what everyone is doing on every e social media site? That's literally what I'm doing right now. And I imagine every YouTuber is doing that. It's an oversaturated market, actually. Why is a bad girl in high school movies always the popular or preppy cheat or leader? Why can't we have a movie where the villain is a nerdy girl who thinks she's superior to everyone else because she watches Doctor Who and drinks tea and is not like other girls? Hmm. I want to say there's already a movie like that, but I'm not sure if there is, and there probably should be one. Places women refuse to go on a first date. Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, Movies, Your House, any fast food chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop. Yeah, I can get not wanting to go to someone's house on their first date. That is a little bit scary. Red Lobster, a buffet, IHOP, Denny's, the gym. That seems like, a, like just a perfect place to get objectified. Church, yeah, absolutely not. 
I'm not trying to get hate crimes, you know? Starbucks, coffee dates, ice cream dates, family functions, movie nights, Netflix, Hulu, etc. That is, that kind of falls into the your house or their house sort of thing. Somewhere that requires a long drive. That means you're going to date like in town. Bowling. Nightclubs. Are you really on a date if you go in a nightclub? Hook a bar, whatever the fuck that means. A bar just for drinks. Waffle House. Sports event. A lot of these places. I love the response. I'll have to go on a first date to any of these places. Hashtag not your typical woman. I mean. There are some places that I'm just saying I would not want to go on a first date to just because. One, I don't like being objectified. Two, I have my own safety to take care of. And three, churches are known for hate crimes. Not all churches, obviously, but you know what I mean. I'm not a very pretty girl, but at least I wash my face. My lashes, my eyebrows, my lips won't change their color. Ah, yes. Girls in my school, I love death grips. Me. I love McDonald's. I love charge my phone. I love twerk. I love be bisexual. I love eat hot chip and lie. <laughs> I think that uh, was a joke. I'm just gonna skip that one because it's like a discussion. We aren't here to discuss things. We're just here to judge judgy people. We thought you'd be low, a low maintenance wife because you don't own got fake eyelashes, nails, or Botox, but you're the need chickens, goats, lots of greenhouse, raw milk, organic food, a big garden, all the illicit gadgets kind of wife. What? If you wear makeup, don't argue with me. I don't wear makeup, and I'm still prettier than you. <sighs> Y'all can keep the ones that do flowers and... Chanel? I'll take the one... And it does as wheels and light bars. What the heck is a Chanel? I can already kind of imagine what a light bar might be. Reasons why I don't fit in in this generation. <sighs> I'm already going to be annoyed. I don't smoke, vape, drink, or party. Same here. I'm still a Zoomer. I believe in God. Okay. There's people who believe in God in our generation. I don't date for fun. I mean, there are plenty of people in our generation that don't do that don't date for fun as well. I always respect my parents. I might, I make some jokes with my mom, but I still respect her as a person. Holy frick! You're a normal person. What? Wow, guys, she's so different. Don't care. I'm not like other girls. I thought that these are bare minimum. Okay, why is that bare minimum? I don't get it. I'm not a girl's girl because girls have, have been mean to me my whole life. If you're nice to me, then I'll be nice back. It's that simple. My experience with people have been nice to me online and in person.
the girl trying to scare me with her new Wednesday personality. I watched Wednesday and I was like, oh, dang. I can somewhat relate. A little bit. My personality. All these girls are out here doing this trend of the 5 foot 10 man with two thick legs. My husband and Stai is bigger than my head. His hand literally covers my face completely. That's a big boy. He is 6 foot 4 with his boots off. And I... Oh, you did... You need to have an outline on your text. I can't read that. I'm guessing you've been with him. And I've seen him literally rip furniture apart with his bare hands. We're not the same. Why was he ripping furniture apart? And why? Why do you do this with the text? <sighs> Put some sort of outline on it. You're too freaking... At sunlight makes your skin really freaking white and makes it really hard to actually see the text that's also white. It's just blending in with your, or, or your skin tone. She never does her hair or makeup. All she ever wears is baggy clothes. Her shoes look like they belong to her grandpa. She's a goody goody. She's a nerd. Okay. Why do you like her so much? <sighs> oh, the rivalry can continuation. Oh, nope. This is the same thing, but in reverse. The girls understand that eating bread is better than eating eggs. Drinking latte is better than drinking tea. Eating sweets is better than chewing gum. And eating cheese is better than eating quark. I'm sorry. Quarks, like the stuff that makes up at, that makes up the protons, neutrons that make up all atoms, that make up all matter in the freaking universe. Everything you eat, if it exists, is made of a quarks at some um, incredibly subatomic level. But I'm quite sure I'm just getting that wrong. And I think they might mean something else. My friends don't bring me anywhere because I'm too pretty. Wow. Quite a humble old brag there, isn't it? Why do you have flashback? Uh, when you don't have flash flashback because you don't wear makeup? I can't stand being the prettiest one in my friend group. <sighs> Girls don't like me because I don't wear makeup. Looking better than everyone else again. I'm so glad he's our satire. <laughs> I all dressed up as let's for Halloween. Not me. Let's dress up as Duck Dynasty. So the options are overly sexualized or drunk old old redneck men. Are those really the only options? Weird. I wasn't gonna do Halloween this year because. I don't even have a costume idea yet. Everybody has jerseys to avoid being a basic girl with a Patrick Mahomes jersey only to become even more basic the next season with a Travis Kels jersey. Oh. This seems a little bit more like a creepy relationship between a mother and their child. Mama, love your son while you are still his number one girl. That sounds like emotional incest. 
I gave away a piece of my heart. Why? Being a low maintenance female is hilarious. Like, what do you mean you need to get your barely chip nails done? I still be growing out my alternating red, white, and blue toenails from July. Thus, I don't even want to comment on that. You are at the gym to make your butt bigger. I'm at the gym to heal my ancestral wounds. We are not the same. Ancestral wounds. Were your ancestors just... I don't even want to know. Imagine fumbling a person that just wants your time and attention. Now you have to deal with people that ask you for money to pay their phone bill 24 hours into getting your number. Maybe you should get higher standards and stop asking for the bare minimum. You think that being a, being a low maintenance girly, it puts you at the top of his list when in reality it puts you at the bottom. That doesn't make you as special as you think. <sighs> My Roman Empire is why did it women fight so hard to work? Why can't we shut up and let the men work? I would love to make sandwiches and play with the kids all day. There are multiple reasons. One being a, a, a homemaker is work. Arguably, it's a it's a full time job that you don't get paid for. Two, women should not need a man to be able to afford to live. Like in any case, and three, lesbians exist. Not to mention, it's weird to assume that women should be making homes. I want these girls who find and some men's be disgusting behavior sexist, but depending on the behavior. I grew up in lad culture, bro. That's probably why. Like, what? It depends on the man I fancy, I guess. But to name a few, I'd say the way men look when they're are standing having a piss over the toilet and their legs spread apart so they look over their they look over their shoulder or if they're pissing on a wall or a bin it's so freaking hot what swearing men's porn habits i watch porn as well so i don't judge and reservation habits also if they're, they're seeing strippers you're not supposed to actually actually i don't know the culture behind but i don't think you're supposed to actually do that while you're seeing them Driving fast, like out of the cars. I mean, a lot of people do that. I think my mom has a fast, loud car. If they're covered in blood from being in a fight, if they've been drinking and partying, I been drink too. Okay. If they get angry or stern, so men do. Actually, you have seen the noises they make, the faces they pull. The way they slap a woman's butt during sex and watch themselves into her. Sorry to be so graphic. The way men speak about women and sex in such graphic terms. Goes through this as well. Amongst each other or just in, in general their banter. The fact that they're so much stronger and taller than we are. The way a man will stare at women's tits and be the god. If they're committing crimes, they got guns. I'm not like other girls. I'm a bit extreme. Ew. I don't get any of that. Okay. When you're a girl, Mom. And you get your boy. What? Too kind to moms in the world.
I'm kind of missing the point. People my age. Meanwhile, me. Ah oh, yes, book and anime. Why are you watching both at the same time? <sighs> I'm gonna skip some of these. In a world where women take pride in being loud and argumentative, the feminine godly woman knows a strength in being reserved, humble, and soft spoken. I think being loud and argumentative is actually a good way to not get it walked over and treat like you're, you're second class or less than human. Wouldn't you have three boys and one girl so you don't only have to deal with one female's hormones? But then your boy starts to get married and suddenly there are a ton of attitudes, hormones, and tears. Wow. Most girls on Halloween wearing what she wants and not judging other a girl's choices. Me on Halloween wearing what I want and not judging other girl's choices. Agreed. I kind of want to wear a unicorn onesie now. Um, I ain't reading all that. Your memories on Facebook. We care about you and your memories on Facebook. Here's memory from 11 years ago. Oh, that's gonna hurt. You girls and your pretty little liars. I'd rather watch your fairly odd parents. <sighs> I think a lot of people watched the fairly odd parents when they were younger. And some people will probably still prefer it over a lot of the live action shows that a lot of people seem to like. Okay, I think this is gonna have to be the last one. <laughs> I'm not the cute, softy girl you want. I cast like a sailor, I dress like a homeless person, will try and fight like, like grown men. I have three brain cells, I am an evil little. An evil freaking gremlin. I, but I'm scared of the dark, and I don't like being told no. I'll cry. <laughs> sure, sure, okay. Anyway, that was r slash not like other girls. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye.